our story? Well, I am. But before we get into our story, let's put on our glasses. And here we go. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses, open up my book, and I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and I'll close up my book. Today I will be reading Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. It is written by Erin Litwin and is illustrated by James Dean. So let's get into our story. Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete the Cat loved his shoes so much that he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Can you guess what color did it turn his shoes? That's right, it turned his shoes red. And we always ask the question, did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. Now the song changes. I love my red shoes. 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 Oh no, not again! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. Can you believe that? Blueberries? What color did it turn his shoes? That's right, it turned his shoes blue. And we asked, did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song all summer. I love my blue shoes. 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 Oh, no. Pete had stepped in a large puddle of mud. Can you believe that? A large puddle of mud? What color did it turn his shoes? That's right, it turned the shoes brown. And we asked, did he cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song, Groovy. I love my brown shoes. 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 Oh no! Now Pete has stepped in a bucket of water. And all of the brown, and all of the blue, and all of the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? So let's think about all the things that Pete the Cat has stepped in. A large pile of strawberries, a large pile of blueberries, a puddle of mud, and now a bucket of water. What color did it turn his shoes? That's right, it turned it white. But now they were not only white, they were wet. Did he cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song, a rock and a roll. I love my wet shoes. 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 And all you could hear were Pete the Cat shoes going squeeze, 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 squeeze. Well, why do you think his shoes was making that noise? Yes, because they were wet. But the moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song because it is all good. I hope you have enjoyed Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. The author is Eric Litwin. 
and is written by James Dean. Hope you enjoyed the story.